that I don't know how to keep up with it. Yeah, we're we're You're pretty uh, rough bunch, but um, come this closer. Well, I love acid wash. I used to wear it in the '80s a lot. I'm really old. I was born in the 80s. Were you yeah. born in the 80s too? Yeah, me too. I was born in the 80s. Yeah, at least I'm not born in the 90s, right? I, yeah, I know, right? Oh, how embarrassing. Yeah, right? Those youngins, those millennials, so entitled. So entitled. I, well, um, I, I, I'm, I'm with them. I'm, I want Making them to get closer. it together. Come closer. Yeah, get into the light, Carol Ann. Okay, so yeah. question. I have so many questions, and there's so many of you. Oh my God, Kristen oh my God. just looked at me. Um, oh my God, okay. Oh my God, it's Dan Mintz. What's he She's wearing? She's looking. Okay. Oh my God, what's Dan Mintz wearing? She like, looked right at me. I love Kristen her. Did. Yeah, she looked over and saw us and smiled. She's Does that really make your heart flutter? She's really fake. No, we're going shopping tomorrow, actually. She's fake? She's not fake. She comes across so genuine. Look she's at her amazing. little rainbow dress. She's totally fake and she's on coke right now. Believe it. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God, I'm totally kidding. Be drug free if you're born in the dare. Okay, I have questions to get to. You're getting me quick. Okay. okay, Bob's Burgers is centered around a burger joint. I would love yeah. to know from you, in your own life, what would be your specialty shop that you would have? Um, so it would be John's... Manties, like um, men's, um, not frilly panties, but um, <laughs> bikini briefs and like spandex and stuff. You just made that up? No. Yeah, I did. So I mean, you were, I mean I'm, when I said specialty shop, I mean, what's a hobby at home you enjoy that you would like to so you no, wear um, them? Yes, I'm wearing um, women's underpants right now. It helps me with the role of Linda. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not wearing women's underpants, but um, pretty close. What is it like doing a girl voice? It's hot, but it's my mom, so it can't be that hot. Um, I love, um, I've always imitated my mom. She's always been a good sport, so I'm pretty, um, I can kind of do it in my sleep, and I probably do do it in my sleep at this um, point. What does your vocal warm-up sound like? <laughs> you got to get it in the upper part of your nostril, um, your upper nostril. My niece and nephew quote Bob's Burgers relentlessly all the time, so I would love to hear from I you too. your favorite line. All right! I mean, that's the that's my tagline. Yeah. Um, scene that is the most iconic in your own memory that you've had on the show. There's so many. Your favorite. A, a Linda scene or just Bob's Burgers all together? Your scene. You're oh, the star. Uh, well, no. You're not the namesake, but you're still pretty. I mean, you're second billing. So. Am I? I'm swell. No, we're... <laughs> no, that's... Um, who's, what's my favorite? Oh, God. Um, there's so many. There's so many good ones. You know the Tina episode where she was on a horse and um, the horse rider it kill it just kills me it's just so funny uh, everything about that and uh, every episode it, it's all well done and it has nothing to do with me really <laughs> i just get it come in and read oh, and you're so I'm humble well I'm, they're great cast um, writers lauren everyone everyone's very it's nice to be a part of a machine like this oh yeah, yeah. um question do you follow the fan theories are there any the that you know one? My, um, oh, did you hear of it? We're dead. Yeah, you yeah. Were, because when I was talking to the guy before right. Bob, yeah. he acted like he'd never heard of it. I think he was just messing. He's old with though. He's really old. Yeah, I like I'm more you. in touch with the millennials. You know, I'm like uh, I got my one foot in the millennial. So um, right here, right now, I would like so you to please acknowledge this fan theory and put and weigh in on your own thoughts. Um. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Lauren She's coming doesn't think that. Oh my God, it's Kristen Shaw. Oh my God, it's Kristen Shaw. Right. What are we gonna do? Okay, finish it. Finish what it. What are we gonna it, do? It. Oh my you God. have to yank her in. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, I'm okay, I want to hear the fan theory, and then so. and then and then that I think that's gonna I be. I think um, that would be really sad if we're all dead. I think that what Lauren said is that we're kind of living because we're not gonna age or anything. We're kind of stuck in a moment of time that just keeps repeating. So we could be dead, but I don't. I, I like it. I like it. I like any kind of fan interaction that they're so into the show that they would take it another step. I think that's super cool. I love that. That's a very big part of Comic-Con. People really invest their imagination into the show and that's all you could ask for. So, so very last question. You're yeah. such an engaging interviewer. Um, at some point, like in 30 years, the show could potentially end. Hate to break it to you. So life after Bob's Burgers, what would be your dream world scenario of a project you'd love to do? Uh, real estate agent, um, musician, um, UPS guy, because the outfits are really hot. Your face is going to say, where are they now, from Bob's Burgers, and it's going to be a photo of your realty that's company. <laughs> well, that's showbiz. <laughs> that's showbiz. What are you going to do? Huh? Thank you. Way. Thank okay. you so much. Nice to, nice to meet you.